Welcome back, everybody, to the longest journey. I guess I should have said in the last episode, and the last set of uploads, that uh, I'm still going to stick to my normal upload schedule, where I'll be uploading every other week. But we are back with the longest journey. Where we last left off, we got to wake up uh, the Kuaman. Kuaman? Kuaman? Chiaman? Uh, with these statues. So, as always, I've got the walkthrough up. I forgot to start my timer. <laughs> quickly do that here. There we go. Alright. So, let's begin. So, we're at the large tree statue, so we want to look around with this first. Um, no, don't do that. Uh, key. Give me. Give me the key. You said key. Okay, maybe if I do this first. Oh, I gotta do it like this first. It's been a while, so. There we go. Okay, so. First symbol. It's a creature with a big mouth. It's so a it creature is. with large ears. So let's. Oh, right, this is how it works. Okay, so this first symbol has to be a S from the looks of it. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. I want to click though. So remember when I said things were looking up for me? Yeah, no, not really, not at all. Uh, car payments, you gotta love them. But I'm hoping this is the last one, because uh, I've been dealing with uh, car payments for some time now, but I own like a 2014 Chevy Cruze, and uh, man, that thing was just dying. So I guess we want to go back to the beach now. Uh, we'll go to the city ruins first. Um... They say that the, when it comes to the cruises, their repairs come in threes, so I'm hoping this is the last time. Otherwise, the bottom I'm half just not going to care. The statue depicts a large-eared creature listening intently. Did I remember to take the key? I did not. I forgot the key. That's what happens when I get talking. But anyway. Um, but... Been a lot of other things happening to me lately. Things I don't really want to talk about, but I figured I've, I've taken enough time off. It's time I, uh... It's time I... get back into recording and carry on with these videos. I mean, my channel is small, but... I gotta do this. Because... I am, as I said in the last a uh, few videos, I'm generally curious on how this all ends, and I want to see this end. And there are other games I want to play, too, so... The bottom half of the statue depicts... Yes, well... Or did we... Okay, there we go. Give me this. Stick that in there. Now for this, we want... Another S. <laughs> See, in here, I thought these gaps would be, uh... Would be the ideal. But this is another thing. Like, how would you be expected to figure out, like, this combination? It'd be trial and error. Oh no, I see what it is now. I was looking at the wrong thing. Alright, now we want the, um... Ah, we're good. Okay, let's take this, not forget that I can. And go here now. Hmm. 
we talk to the crab? I'll just take a shot here and ask you. Is there any chance you speak like a real language? Like, um, Arcadian or English? Okay. Now, is there some kind of magic I have to learn, or potion I have to drink, or eat, or ingest in some way to learn your language? Because that's usually how it goes. No? Too bad. Although I'm glad I don't have to draw blood or swallow a stone or something. <laughs> Can't help but feel that you're asking me for help, though. It's the strangest thing. After all, you're just clicking your claws, aren't you? It's not as if you're really talking, is it? Yeah, we'll figure out a way to help you, little buddy. But for right now, uh... We gotta go solve a totem, a totem pole puzzle. The bottom part of the statue depicts a creature with large ears listening to something. The bottom part of the statue depicts a. Yes, yes. All right, let's get this done quickly. All right, so the cliff side. It looks like. All right, there we go. All right. Now what? Oh, he had these symbols written here on the uh, walkthrough. Top wheel, cliff, bottom wheel, large trees. Uh, top wheel, city ruins, bottom wheel, large trees. Okay, so that's what these symbols are. All right. Uh, now we go talk to the to talk to the giant and him. Hey, right, hang on. When you manage to do this, return to the large trees and talk to the statue. Travel to the nearest destination. Okay. So now, a lot of backtracking in this game. I think that's the one thing I don't like. There's actually like. There's a few things I don't care too much for this game, a lot of the backtracking, but that's a point-and-click adventure game in general. Um, the other thing would have to be how ridiculous these puzzles are. Like, there's probably, like, an actual thing to explain what you're supposed to do, but to speed things along, I'm using the walkthrough, so. All right, now I suppose we talk to this thing. Hello? Whoa. This is kind of cool. Be April. Hello, Quaman. It's your wake-up call, sir. I I'm God. <laughs> I am your God. Listen to me. I'm Amy Ryan. Uh. And meet me, Quaman. But what you be doing up in the air, big woman? Ah, well. Big woman? Watch it, I don't... Oh, I see. It's just my voice that's big, woman. I'm really quite average, size-wise. Uh. Where are you, woman? A 
that be a secret? Quammon want to be left alone. Could you please stop snoring? Quammon be snoring? No one ever tell Quammon he be snoring. But then Quammon always be sleeping by his lonesome. No woman like Quammon. Yes, everyone be hearing about Quamon now. Yeah. Well, do you want to talk about your problems face to face? You want to talk about your problems face to face? What be the point? It makes you feel better. I'm a good listener, and I'd like to be your friend. That'd be the point. Quamon, not sure if he want friend now. Please? Please let me be your friend. Why? Well, Quamon be wanting to help, but... Don't tell me, you're stuck. Okay. Quamon be your friend and talk to you. My secret place be in the ruins of the old temple, by the wells. Follow the stream up from the rock beach and go right where it branches. Thanks, I'll get as soon as I can. Cool. I'm not gonna waste my time talking about sick people. Let's just go. Yeah, this looks like it. Wow, you are a big dude. Huh. Whoa, you are big. You're just about the biggest person I've ever met. Quaman be a freak. No one be liking him. No, you're just a really I didn't big mean it dude. That way. That's all. I just meant. April, you know just what to say, don't you? I'm sorry. I like tall guys. Really, I do. You be the only one then, because no one else want anything to do with Quaman. Hey, where are you going? Wow, you... Okay. How did you come to the island? How did you come to be on this island? That be a long story. Do you want Quaman to be telling you? Lore, 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 lore. Sure I have time. Tell me the story. Many long moons ago... Waman be happy. He be working at the Circa in Corazon, where he be big attraction. What did you do? Quaman be the world's strongest man. He be popular. People come to see him from all the Northlands. Some even from east of the Bay of Fire. But then there be an accident. And the circuit tell Quaman to leave. That he be dangerous. And that no one be paying to see him anymore. What kind of accident? Quaman's most popular feat be the breaking of large rocks with his fist. Everyone would applaud when the rock be breaking. Then one day, the Caliph be at the circa to see the performers. He be saying, Quaman, I hear of him breaking a large rock with his fist. This I want to see. But my performance be over that day, and there be no rock to break. So the Circa Ringmaster Obron, he be saying, 
Let's get a rock in here, any big rock at all. So they bring in this rock that Kwama never be crushing before. Kwama not be sure if it is a good idea, because rock can be dangerous when it breaks. Mm, so even he but thought Obron it was a bad be idea. Saying, this you must do. The Caliph wants to see. We do not disappoint the Caliph of Khorasan, or we lose our heads. So Kwame and break the rock, and when it breaks... What, what happened? There'll be large pieces of rock flying everywhere, and one piece be hitting the Caliph and one his son. The Caliph <laughs> be not seriously hurt, but his son be unconscious and bleeding from the head. Ew. They say to Kwaman, run, get away from the Circa and Khorasan, or the Caliph will have his head. So Kwaman run, and he get passage on ship leaving that night. When the ship passed this island, Kwaman be jumping into sea and swimming ashore. And now he be here. You know, I think those stick people were just ex exaggerating. He seems like a pretty nice guy. What happened between you and the Orlawal? The Orlawal. Oh, Quaman be so clumsy, so dangerous. He should not be among people. He be only hurting them. The Orlawal be kind, letting Quaman live and fish in their village. But then Kwaman be stepping over a young Olawal, almost breaking his shell. The Olawal tell Kwaman to leave village, to not come back because he may kill an Olawal. They tell him to go as far away as possible. Kwaman be sad because he liked the Olawal and because Kwaman be having the best fishing place and all of Elias. He lose his friends and his food. What do you eat now? Kwaman fish in these wells here, but the fish that live down there be small and not very tasty. Mm. Would you like to move back to the Orlwal village? Oh yes. Kwaman be wishing that more than anything in the world. I saw an Orlawal down by the beach, just outside the village. It seemed to be in pain, but I didn't know what to do. Perhaps if you come along, you can help him out and get back in favor with the Orlawal people. Yes, perhaps Kwaman can help, even if the Orlawal do not want him back. Just gotta watch Here where you is, step. The, uh... Orlawal? Can you help it? Perhaps Kwaman can help. Poor Orlawal. He'd be crying for help. Uh, Kwaman see what be wrong. The Orlawal not shed its shell when time come, and now it be stuck in the shell. Why didn't the other Orlawal come to its assistance? Their claws be no good for this work. They be helpless. But Kwaman help. Kwaman be good with his hands. Kwaman be happy. Kwaman accept your graceful thanks, sir. Thank you. You be making Kwaman very happy. Kwaman accept your offer and be grateful to the all wall people. This is a very one-sided conversation. Much. But what? What did he say? Why did you thank him? All wall be inviting Kwaman to stay on the cliff above the village where he can fish again. Kwaman be very, very happy now. You understand what it's saying? Olawal language be easy to understand. It be just click and clack and clock. I'm so happy for you, Kwaman. Go on, don't let me hold you back. Hmm. Okay then. Well, now we're supposed to talk to, uh, well actually we are pretty much out of time here. So, thank you all for watching this episode. 
I hope you enjoyed it. And I will continue on tomorrow with the next episode. As always, guys, stay safe and stay healthy. Have a good day.